Ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers, welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today I'm going to talk about EOS Finance. Uh, EOS Finance is basically a decentralized exchange on EOS, as well as um, Uber co-founder. They are going to launch a crypto exchange, and it's called Voyager. So. Before we get into that, just to remind everybody that we have we are going to have a reaching air job coming up. So if you are reaching token holder and your token is in Binance, you are going to get some air drop. Uh, they're going to have a V4 air drop. V4 is basically like a gas. Just like Neo, they have gas reaching. Uh, they already have their mainnet launch. Um, so everything, uh, if you have your token in Binance, they automatically switch the token for you from BEN to VET. So for every one VEN, you're going to get 100 VET. So uh, they are going to take a snapshot on August 1st, UTC time. And this is this airdrop is independent of the normal monthly uh, V4 distribution. And the distribution of this airdrop will be complete um, before August 5th. And your v, uh, VET balance under one VET will not be eligible for this airdrop. So you have to be uh, more than one or one or more. And also uh, the amount of VF4 airdrop to each uh, VET holder will be correspond to their percentage of holding. So basically, uh, the more you have uh, in your balance, the more uh, you V4 you're gonna get. And another thing I want to pinpoint is that if you have um, VET token in your wallet or in some other exchange, you can um, transfer it to Binance so you can get more airdrop. But just be very careful because right now um, Qcoin hasn't uh, do the conversion yet. So once the Q coin do the conversion, probably uh, people will transfer their token from um, Q coin to Binance to get the airdrop. And bear in mind right now, uh, so far I saw Q coin is still in a VEN, so it's the old token which is in the on the Ethereum uh, blockchain. Right now, Binance is already swapped everything from VEN to VET, which is the V4 uh, mainnet, which is a VChain mainnet. So when you transfer the token, you got to be very careful. Make sure you transfer uh, your address should be corresponding VET to VET, not VEN to VET. Otherwise, you will lose your token. Also, uh, if you have VE, uh, the old VEN token still in your my Ether wallet, still on the Ethereum platform, you can convert your token from VEN to VET, and then you can transfer the VET token to Binance in order to get more V4 airdrops. And just stay tuned for my next video, and I will show you how to do it. And also, we have high performance uh, blockchain um, token giveaway. You can click the link below and if you're interested. Also, uh, just in case you are new to the channel, I just don't want to remind everybody. And all the C airdrop is coming up on August 1st. They're going to take a snapshot. And make sure you have 5,000 uh, order C token in the OC Pay wallet. 
if you're interested, you can get all uh, Odyssey token in Qcoin. If you don't have a Qcoin account, you can click the link below and this will help out my channel as well. Also, uh, also uh, let's see. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop uh, giveaway, half or ICO. And I uh, did a video earlier about the Uber fly and this is pretty cool because uh, eventually uh, they're going to launch the Uber uh, on the air. Right now we have Uber like a taxi on the road but eventually they're going to do some type of um, Uber fly because of the air, uh, traffic jam in the city, especially in New, New York City, Los Angeles, or Miami, those big city, and people will pop, uh, also in Brazil or China, they have like because of the economic growth and there's tons of traffic jam. So Uber fly, it will be very, uh, it will be in the very near future. That will be very interesting. And today I also talk about some Uber news. Uh, Uber co-founder is going to launch the Voyager, which is a crypto C, a cryptocurrency exchange, and it will be a zero fee crypto trading platform. There's no fee, so same as in Robinhood. So right now, the dominance uh, for the cryptocurrency exchange is Coinbase, Binance. Um, they they dominate the whole uh, market right now, basically. And right now, there's a new model is slowly taking uh, roots is the zero fee trading model and Robinhood uh, is doing that right now and Voyager which is uh, backed by Uber co-founder they're going to offer at least 15 cryptocurrency to trade on the platform and currently Robinhood only offer five and another thing is uh, the, the another good thing about this Voyager exchange is that they're going to pull the price from 10 leading crypto uh, exchange and free market makers so so the uh, user have the ability to execute their buy and sell order at a better price than the rest of the exchange like binance or qcoin or buy boss or wahoobi because they only use a single exchange so basically right now binance is a single exchange uh, Buybox, KuCoin, Wahoobi, Coinbase, they're basically using just their own exchange to give you the price. But in Voyager, they're going to pull 10 leading crypto exchange and then they will um, get a better, uh, probably they'll average out the price and <clears throat> and user will get a better price for the sell and buy order. I mean, this is a very, this is a pretty good cool, uh, good idea. Right now, if you trade in Binance, you whatever you're trading is based on just one single exchange price, and sometimes you get a higher price than other exchange. Right when you go to Coin Market Cap, you can see different uh, exchange have different price. Sometimes one exchange have are more expensive than the other exchange, and also, uh, Voyager is going to um going to be uh, they already get approval basically in, in california montana new hampshire uh, massachusetts missouri and also new york their application is still pending and they plan on operating approval at least 40 states a beta test will begin this week and then the release uh, of the mobile app will be on october also uh, right now voyager uh, this uh, the zero fee crypto uh, exchange only they only raise money from friends and families they don't even need outsiders money basically and um, so Robinhood you know they uh, they are pretty they right now they offer crypto trading and no fee trading applications and they're very popular among the millennium and also um, but the thing is, although Robinhood, they don't have any trading fee, I find that their price is more expensive than Coinbase uh, or uh, Gemini. So, but the thing, but the thing is like, even Con Coinbase of course has the transaction fee or trading fee. But if you uh, use Coinbase and then you go to GDAX, if you do a limit, set a limit order, 
and then in the advanced option you take options uh, uh, you take options and then you take uh, I think not option advanced option you take uh, post then there's no trading fee so as long as you I mean even though GDEX has no trading fee so if you if you do a limit order and then in the advanced option you click the box post there's no trading fee at all in GDEX Gemini right now has 1% trading fee and uh, sometimes right now Gemini price uh, German the price of Gemini is, is sometimes even more expensive than GDEX so Robinhood although they, they say no trade uh, no trading fee but the price is not very competitive uh, it's actually more expensive than GDEX and uh, Gemini so uh, they so of course uh, they're going to launch uh, for example they they were going to launch like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and Ripple uh, in Voyager Exchange. So we'll see how it goes. This will be pretty interesting how Voyager uh, turned out to be. And the next stock we're going to talk about uh, EOS, the EOS Finance. So EOS Finance is basically is a decentralized exchange on EOS. And this will be... Um, the first high performance and trustless trustless trading platform and built on the top of the EOS uh, platform and they will uh, combine uh, combine the scalability and the speed of EOS blockchain and also they will provide space on also running some on-chain exchange stuff and all that and I think the most focus uh, on this EOS finance uh, is the security and scalability I mean scalability is very important because with Crypto Kitty, uh, Crypto Kitty, and or the F coin fiasco probably a few weeks ago, it slowed slow down the Ethereum Ethereum network substantially. And this is a video of the demo and the prototype of the uh, decentralized exchange on EOS. So let's take a look. And you can see right now, um, right now still in a beta phase, they still in the test net and also in development state. So you have buy and sell order, you have post only order. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, in GDEX, if you set a limit order and then you click the advanced option post only, there's no trading fee in GDEX. GDEX is basically Coinbase. So after you open the Coinbase account, then you open another browser, uh, GDEX, and then you just sign in so you can do you can do the trading. And um, also, you can see the positions or for the price and all that, and quantity and everything. Mm -hmm. The list of my current positions. And um, basically, and the, he is doing a demo. Uh, you can, uh, you can. I will put the link below. You will click uh, this video and check it out. And there's a bid price and then the ask price. This is looks like bid tricks to me. <clears throat> so you can check it out. So this is the uh, the prototype and demo for the decentralized exchange on EOS. So this is pretty good. They are working on the project. It's not like um, people just get the money and forget about the project. So this is this is a good news for the EOS community. So let me know what you think about the um, EOS, uh, the EOS finance, the decentralized uh, exchange. And just to remind uh, one thing, uh, the airdrop. So after the airdrop. Uh, probably after the snapshot on August 1st at uh, UTC time. Uh, just be careful if the, uh, they are dumping the uh, V-chain because once people get the airdrop, they probably want to dump the coin, right? So just be very careful. So um, as I talked to you guys earlier that uh, my inner circle, we uh, get into the position last week, probably... Uh, Last week, uh, what is last week? Last week, uh, the price is much lower than what it is right now. The right now, the price has already have twenty six twenty six percent more than, uh, before. So just be careful. I mean, you don't want to be, uh, buying something at the high. But we never know. Maybe it will go higher. Maybe it will be crashing. We don't know. So let me know what you think. Please comment below about the EOS finance and also the upcoming airdrop. And what do you think about VeChain project? Do you think this project will be um, one of the greatest project in 2018? Also, EOS, uh, EOS Finance, um, please comment below. I would like to hear from you.
If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can share, uh, please share with your friends. And uh, this will help out my <coughs> YouTube channel. And yeah, and I will continue pro to provide quality videos for you guys. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. I follow a lot of under the radar project. You can check it out. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss you don't want to miss out any upcoming airdrop or giveaway. Remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe. Peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in ICO or other cryptocurrency has inherent risk. Please use your due diligence.